this morning, as we gather together, as people who come from different parts of the country, the military has brought some of us here into this part of the country. Other people have come for other reasons. But here we are, with our different backgrounds, our different appearances. Some of you are better looking than I am, and I'm thankful for that. But sometimes we have different opinions on something, but there's something on which we should all agree. That Christ is Lord. That one day each one of us will have to give an account for the things that we have done. For the way in which we have lived in regard to Him. So this morning, say to Him, be glory and honor forever and ever. We pledge allegiance to the Lord, and I ask, have, have you pledged allegiance to the Lord? Peter, the apostle, wrote in 1 Peter chapter 3, Baptism, which now corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God. The New International Version, interestingly, translates appeal there as pledge to God. For a good conscience, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers, having been subjected to him. So Peter, in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 21 and 22, says the same thing that John says in, John chapter, in Revelation chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. He says, Christ is above all with God. He is enthroned at the right hand of God. And now as we are baptized, baptism now saves us as, not because of water washing dirt off of us, but because through our baptism we are pledging our allegiance to God. We are making an appeal to Him for a good conscience in obedience to Him. So this morning, Ed, will you pledge your, your allegiance to God through Christ? Or ask if you have pledged it already, but have perhaps reneged on that allegiance and need to say once more, Lord, forgive me. I will be faithful, your faithful witness from this day forward. If you need to obey, if you need to restore your allegiance this morning, please come now while we stand and we sing. I am thine, O Lord, I have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me. <laughs> 